What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy Zayday Bombay. In today's video we are going to be continue working with the fiberglass work on the Rocky Bunny kit. If you guys did watch the last video, me and Esteban worked on the kit. Esteban showed me how to use fiberglass and kind of get a feel and stuff like that. Huge shout out to Esteban. I'm going to leave a link in the description to his channel below but huge shout out to him for helping me and teaching me stuff that I didn't know but that's what this channel is about is learning getting stuff done and achieving things but like I said let's get today's video started all right guys before we go any further in the video let's go ahead and open some mail from the homies that have their own brands have merch started all the good stuff um in this Series we have triple cat and we have peasant gang So first thing we're gonna do is open the peasant gang one then we'll go ahead and go to triple cat All right guys So the first thing that I'm opening up is from the homie Nick over at peasant gang and toe dreamers huge shout out to Nick Thank you Nick for the stuff. I do appreciate it. I appreciate all the hard work you're putting in and all the sick stuff that I did get So the first things first we have the toe dreamers jet tag That's already a good start to the care package or package whatever you want to say See if we can get my man in there. Bunta Pijuara from the series Initial D. If you guys have already, go ahead and watch that. It's a sick series. Then we got the Toe Dreamers. Pretty sick. I definitely like that one. I barely do make the cutoff for this one, but 90s kids. Shout out to all those 90s kids. I was born in 98. I barely made it, so who cares? Don't live an average life when you can live a great one. I totally agree with that. That is legit. I do believe that. Ooh, and the flake, the drive safe flake. So that is what is in the peasant gag care package. If you guys haven't already, go ahead and follow him. I will leave his stuff in the link below. But usually when I buy stuff like this, support the homies, all that good jazz. I usually buy sets of two or three, do a huge order and give them out to my girlfriend or family, friends, whatever. So if you guys haven't already, go ahead and give Peasant Gago follow my homie Nick and I would appreciate it. The next brand that we are supporting is Triple Cat Deluxe. Um, like I said, I usually buy in bulk. Adriana was really psyched about this. Adriana sent me a DM and she was like, I really want this set of stuff. So, I don't know, there's a letter in a letter. So, let's see. Oh, 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 oh. So he puts the cardboard and he puts this for security. Got it, got it, got it. So, just get rid of that. And then, all right, let's get rid of that too. So in here, envelope number two. So in here we have the, the pumpkin shades. This one Adriana wanted so badly, and I had to get one for myself. But we got the orange flake pumpkin shades. The wolf boy Sheba. So it is right before Halloween, so these are all Halloween themed. I do have one more Halloween themed package coming from the homie Sasweeb. So stay tuned for that. I'll probably be in the next vlog, later vlog, later, later on. Um, Wolf Boy again, like I say, buy in packs. Support. Another sh pumpkin shade. Aw, oh, sick, look at these. So we have the, I don't know what I'm doing minis. It's a three pack, so someone besides myself and Adriana are gonna be lucky to get another one. And then of course, the triple cat business card and then last but not least the mummy boy Shiba so that is what's in this package I dropped all the stickers and I'm pissed so after I clean those up huge shout out to triple cats huge shout out to peasant gang and the homie Nick over there um, if you guys haven't already follow those guys like I said earlier I will leave their information in the link down below but let's go ahead and get started and working on the fender blur Quick update before we get any work done. In the last video, my homie Esteban showed me how to apply fiberglass, how to sand fiberglass, and stuff like that. Kind of give you guys a little teaser right here of what it looks like. So hopefully today that means we're gonna finish this, get it ready, and then go ahead and send it over to Mike at Revive Wraps to put the yellow back on. But like I said, this is kind of a little update. This is all kind of cleaned up right here. We've like three or four layers on here and then sand it with 80 grit just because that is tougher than what we need. But like I said, let's go ahead and get the video started. Come on. Come on. There we go. Two months and she started.
the first thing we're going to do is I got some blue painters tape. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cover the areas that do not need, need to be fixed. So I'm going to just tear about like three or four pieces, kind of put them on the sides and then on the top, just in case I don't want to sand the parts that are not broken. So let's go ahead and get started with that. The painter's tape has the stuff that we do not want to sand blocked off, so I know not to go that far. But let's go ahead and get a little closer. We have the existing hole, as you guys can see there, and then we put the fiberglass the last video, as you guys saw. And then we have like the spread cracked marks down there going as well. I'm going to see if I can sand those out, and then if not, go ahead and put some fiberglass and go ahead and smooth that out, and then it, hopefully we can get where we need to be by the end of the video. So I do have some fiberglass resin right here. I have the spatula, the buckets, the hardener, and then see some fiberglass mats. So what right now I'm gonna do is equally measure the resin and the hardener together to get the liquid that we're gonna put onto the fender flare before we put the fiberglass mats down. Boom, okay. 50 milliliters. Ew. Couple shots of vodka. Chef Curry with a pot, boy. All right, as you guys can see, the hardener is mixing in with the resin. We have our resin all mixed up in with the hardener, the equal proportions. Right now we're gonna layer it on the weakened spot right here where the crack was at and then put some fiberglass pieces that I've already pre-cut on there and then let it dry opposite side and then go from there. Just spread it on there. As I said before, I already had some pre-cut fiberglass mats already out. We're just gonna put that on that weakened spot right there. Kind of apply pressure. I didn't say this would need another layer of fiberglass. I definitely think that one more would be perfect or the one that I just added was perfect. So sort of like earlier, we're just gonna grab that resin and apply it to the fiberglass. As you guys can see, the fiberglass will come up just due to the fact that it's sticky. But if you just keep applying, it'll eventually stick and go from there. This is about 10 minutes of curing. As you guys can see, it's kind of drying up right here against the edge. But this weakened spot right here is exactly what I wanted. It's kind of weak right there on the inside, not necessarily the outside, but the inside. And that's all I need is it to break again once driving. But this is exactly going how I want it to. But if you guys have any advice, please leave a comment down below. I would really appreciate it if you guys have any advice, pointers, opinions. I'm new to this. Like I said, this is all learning. If you guys have any advice, Go ahead and leave it down below. All right, so we got whatever that is. And then boom, we got the sesame chicken and fried ice. Honestly, huge shout out to Adriana. Adriana put me on this and I've been addicted ever since. So huge shout out to my girlfriend and Rose Garden. Alright guys, so I do feel like down there below it was a perfect amount of time for it to cure where I could flip it to the other side and start working on this side. Um, so quick tip, the larger amount of resin that you use, it will take longer to cure. So since we used a little amount right there, I definitely think that it's okay to flip it and start working on the other side. So right here we're going to apply the resin throughout right here and then add the fiberglass to this hole and this hole right here. And then hopefully we can get sanding on eventually. The same process, the same equal amount starting from left to right, just applying the resin. And right here, I'm just kind of tapping to get in the holes that were made there so we can just get resin in there 
and hopefully get enough in there to hold the fiberglass. All right, here is our sheet of fiberglass. guys so right here I'm just compressing the fiberglass I'm gonna leave all this hang off right here because I want to later eventually sand all this evenly so we get a flush fitment against the lip later on on the wheels and then I'm just gonna let this cure for about 30 minutes let it stand here dry and then hopefully we can get to sanding and then maybe some bondo work later on so unfortunately this may be a three-part series the resin right here with the fiberglass is still soaking wet or still wet. We did leave it outside. The weather isn't the best in Africa right now. It's about 35 degrees and resin usually hardens around 75 and it would have been a lot quicker. So the warmer the better. So unfortunately this may be a three part series and hopefully in the next video we can get to sanding. So unfortunately that is sus, that sucks so badly that we cannot finish the fender flare. Um, yes, this is gonna be a three part series where I am definitely gonna finish up the fender flare when it's a lot warmer, it dries up, the fiberglass dries, and then we can get to sanding, bondoing, finishing. We're not gonna do a primer coat, I'm not gonna do a primer coat, um, just because it's just gonna get wrapped by Mike. But um, yeah guys, so I do appreciate you guys for staying the whole video, watching this. If you guys haven't already, please hit the subscribe button, I do appreciate that if you guys do. But like I said in the title, you guys can see, I have a huge announcement for you guys. Huge announcement, I gotta tell them. Huge announcement. Just say it, just say it. I could tell them this, I could have them wait. Tell them wait, tell them wait, tell them wait, tell them wait. Oh God, come on. All right guys, so November 5th through 8th, we are going to be in SEMA. That is the huge announcement. Me, Mike, and Josh, me and the boys, the homies, the crew are gonna be in SEMA. We will be leaving Monday, November 4th and coming back the 8th, but that is the huge announcement. Huge shout out to Mike for making this happen, but I'm definitely excited. If you guys are gonna be out there in SEMA, please let me know. We'd be happy to link up with you guys. Go eat, go do things in Vegas. So that's the huge announcement. I appreciate you guys for watching the video. If you guys haven't already, like the video, leave a comment down below, and please subscribe. All right, no matter, like I say, as always, no matter how far you get in life, to always remain humble and always try to make a difference. Deuce!